Welcome back everybody to another Atomic Academy video where today we're going to be playing Minecraft and seeing if you are smarter than a fifth grader. We're going to have six math questions, K through fifth grade, and we're going to see how far we can get. So let's get right into it. All right. So, all right, so we're in the map, we're on a school bus, and we're going to go to school. And we're going to see if we're smarter than a fifth grader. So we're going to get off, and we're going to go to the entrance. And nice, whoever the map creator was built this amazing school, and I'll put the credits in the description down below. But this amazing school has so much stuff, football field, tennis courts, tons of classrooms, farm, I don't know, all kinds of crazy stuff. So thanks to them for making it, and we're just gonna go right in and follow this path of diamonds, because this is where our quiz is. And today, we're gonna go through and see if we're smarter than a fifth grader. We're gonna start with a kindergarten question. Look at this school, right? I mean, it's crazy. So we're gonna start with the kindergarten question, and then we're gonna move all the way up to fifth grade, at least in this video. And then my subsequent videos are gonna have middle school, are you smarter than an eighth grader? And then all the way to high school, are you smarter than a 12th grader? So pretty cool classrooms, pretty in-depth map. I didn't make it again, creds are gonna be down below. All I did was create the diamond path and then the questions that we're talking about today. So. Hope this is pretty cool. And this is the kindergarten question. K for kindergarten. Okay. We're starting simple. Right? Kindergarten level. Here's my question to you. How many chickens are in the coop? It's not a hard question. It's not a trick question. It's kindergarten level. We're recognizing numbers. Do you know the answer? Good. All right. Well, the answer for most people, is four. Starting simple, let's get harder. Let's go on to first grade next. And let's talk about it. First grade question, number one, we have three pens, right? Now my first grade question to you is, how many animals total are there in all three pens? And bonus points if you can identify the animals, because you know, they're pretty beautiful Minecraft animals. All right, if you said 11, you are obviously correct. First grade, we're dealing basic addition, basic subtraction. That's kind of what you go over uh, at that age level. And so there's six chickens, two cows, and three sheep. Three plus two plus six, that's 11. All right, pretty simple, right? Stick with me <laughs> and comment down below at what grade you got to. So if you answer all K through five correct, let me know. If you missed third grade or fourth grade, fifth grade, or even kindergarten, comment down below and we'll talk about it. Second grade, now we're getting a little harder. Still subtraction, but it's a word problem. So let's first look here. We're gonna look at these two tables right here, okay? How many chairs are there? Eight, right? That's not the question. <laughs> there are eight chairs, and in this little pen, there are 17 villagers. Again, 17. So my question to you, second grade, is if the villagers went to try and sit down, how many villagers would not get a chair? Okay, 17 villagers, eight chairs. How many villagers would not get a seat. All right. All right. If you said nine, you're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. You're right. Nine is the answer. Because it's just simple 17 minus eight. Right? There are eight chairs, 17 villagers. 17 minus eight are the number of villagers that won't get a seat. And that is nine. So good job. You passed second grade now. See? School is easy. Why does everybody complain about school if you can pass it in three questions, <laughs> you know? All right, moving on to part three, third grade. You know, moving down the line, moving to our next classroom into our third grade classroom. Okay, my next question to you, now that we're in third grade, three, third grade. So how many blocks make up the board? Essentially, what is the area of a rectangle? We know there are th it's three tall and seven wide. 
So what's the area? Did you get it? Now let me ask you this. Did you count or did you actually calculate the area of a rectangle? Because that's a third grade level question. Counting? Mm, we're in first, second grade. But if you actually did the multiplication and said, okay, well, it's three tall and seven wide, which means it's 21 blocks. So that's the area of this rectangle is 21 blocks. Then you pass third grade, my friend. Okay, easy. Now, now that we've done third grade, let's move on to fourth grade. Okay. Moving on, we're running down the hallways. Don't run in school, kids. We'll walk. And we'll go, oh, and I can stay in the classroom. We're going to go out. Now we ramped it up. This is fourth grade. And this, you see this online. But we're going to be talking about order of operations here. I'm not going to give you any hints. I'll, we'll talk about it afterwards. Again, credit to Panda for helping me make a black background on this. Way better. Okay, so I'm going to narrate it. The question, fourth grade level question. So that reads as 2 plus 5 times, in parentheses, 8 minus 5. Now you see these on social media all the time. Do you know the right answer to this? All right. Did you get it? I'll give you one more second and we're going to walk slowly. 2 plus 5 times 8 minus 5. Okay? We're going to walk slowly and see what the answer is. It's hidden behind here. Well, that's our fifth grade question. We're going to get there next. Stop answer 17 right 2 plus 5 times 8 minus 5 is 17 okay we're gonna go back real quick we're gonna run because we're outside and you know that's a lot of school but be safe I mean the simple answer is you always start with everything in the parentheses so you start with 8 minus 5 which is 3 and then you do multiplication next which would be 5 times 3 that's 15. And then you add 2, 17. No arguments there. If you got that right, you passed fourth grade. If you didn't, comment down below. Let me know. Don't be shy. Um, and if you think I did that wrong, let me know too. But that's what they used to call PEMDAS. PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And now they're calling it like... GEMA, GEMA, G-E-M-A, which is grouping exponents, multiplication operations, and addition operations. It's the same thing, just worded a little differently. Okay, now we're in fifth grade. Last and final question of this video. Are you smarter than fifth grader? Can you solve that fraction? And bonus points if you can give me the decimal version as well. And if you can do both, you pass fifth grade. While you're thinking about it, if you need a break, take a moment, like, and subscribe, and follow me for more. Now that you've had plenty of time, do you know the answer to this? The answer, 3 sixths plus 2 fifths, it's 9 tenths. Otherwise, in decimal form, it's 0 0.9. You, you take three steps in fraction math. You always simplify every fraction. So 3 sixths, 3 is half a sixth, so this is actually 1 half this left fraction. So 1 half plus 2 fifths. We're getting simpler. Step two, find the common denominator. 1 half and 2 fifths, the common denominator between 2 and 5 would be 10. So 1 half turns into 5 tenths, and 2 fifths turns into 4 tenths. Add them together, that's 9 tenths. And there you have it. Are you smarter than fifth grader? Leave a comment down below to tell me how far you got. And make sure to hit a like and subscribe because we're going to have a part two of this video where we're going to go over middle school math. And then a final part, a part three, where we're going to go over high school math all the way up to calculus level. It's going to get a little complex, but we're going to do it all in Minecraft and we're going to see how far we can get. So stay tuned for those next videos. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.